Hey, so today is another Frequently Asked Question Wednesday. And what we are talking about today is why it's so damn difficult to remove negative items. You see, here's the deal. Here's the problem. So many people want you to think that you just send some letters in, one ma'am, thank you ma'am, your negative items are gone permanently and your score is going to jump through the roof some 50, 100, 200 points, right? Honey, it does not work like that, okay? So I've had to answer this question like 50 times this week and obviously I have videos that go into this and explain this in detail and everything, but if it were that simple, if it was so easy as just sending a couple letters to remove whatever, right? Collection of charge-offs, bankruptcies, repossessions, foreclosures, whatever, then why are there 68 million people with bad credit? Why aren't there partnerships with dealerships and mortgage lenders and loan officers and all of that with like credit people, right? Because it would obviously guarantee the sale. They live off commission and it, everybody would be happy. They would all go home with a nice fat check, right? It doesn't work like that. It does not work like that. And so many people fall for either the FOMO, fear of missing out, right? Or the whole shebang about send these few letters, these four magical letters, and I'm going to make your life so simple. And we're just going to, again, to those negative items that have been hounding you, making it so that you can't get a job, so that you can't get your credit card, so that you can't get your house, so that you can't get your car, so that you can't get your kids into a better school, so that you can't get the things that you need to, not just want, but need to, I'm gonna make you all go away. So simple, right? Wrong. Your credit is the one thing, mostly one thing, that determines where you live, where you work, what you drive, and even the food on your table, okay? So that's why it's not so easy. So these negative items go on your credit report because they know just how difficult it is to remove them. So the problem isn't, why does this take so long, right? The problem is, why am I thinking that it's so easy? Why am I thinking that's so easy? Well, I'm gonna tell you why you're thinking that it's so easy and it's because of these fake gurus, these courses, these videos, and these fake preachers, these fake ass preachers out there trying to get into your wallet okay so that is the deal now here's the question here is the main question is it possible to remove collections charge offs repossessions foreclosures late payments bankruptcies judgments tax liens yes yes it is it just has to be done the right way when it is done the right way then you can move on with your life you can say you know, ta-ta for now, right? And get where you need to be. Now, when I say do it the right way, it means factual based disputes, no online disputes, no identity theft, um, no police reports, no, no none of that stuff, right? What it does mean is determining what needs to be removed, looking for the facts that are going to support your argument, not sending in letters that every single other person on the face of this planet, or at least in this continent, has sent in prior to you, and writing a unique consumer authentic dispute, okay? So if you wanna know how to do that, use the link in the description, go and visit any of my videos right here on YouTube going back to the summer of 2016 to learn how to do it the right way, okay? I also have a workshop coming out this week. Um, you can find the link in the description of my last three videos um, right here on YouTube. And if you want to find out if I can do the credit sweep for you because there is no learning curve for me, this is what I do and have been doing for 10 years, then head over to my 740.com, schedule a call with me and I will see if I can help. But that was the question for today on FAQ Wednesday, all right? So I'm gonna get to the stuff that I have to get to. I hope you have a wonderful week. Stay safe and I will see you later, bye.